Hello, welcome back to another episode. Uh, today we have a treat. Uh, we're going to be trying the uh, Talisker 18 years. Uh, it's from the Isle of uh, Skye. Uh, this bottle is a real treat. This is something uh, seriously good. Uh, I had it before. It's one of my favorite bottles. I think it won the competition in 2007 for the best whiskey on the planet. Uh, it's still to this date uh, places well in competition, even though it's an older kind of generation of whiskey. Uh, let's crack it up. This is 45.7, I think, or 45.8, if I remember well. Maybe I don't, but let's check it out. Don't worry, this is gonna go fast because it's really delicious. See, on the nose, this is a talisker, so it's a smoke and a peat whiskey, but actually it is, but it isn't at the same time because this is so sweet that the smoke is very subtle. It's not a peat bomb like in Octomore or a Hardberg or... On the nose, you can feel it. It's a sherry bourbon cask in this. Actually, it's bourbon and finished sherry cask after this. Um, you can smell it. You can smell the fruit, you can smell the smoke, but like I said, it's subtle smoke. It's not in your face, punch in your face smoke. You can smell it, it's like a complete whiskey. It's complex. Mm. It's full body. It's oily, it's creamy. There's kind of toffee coming in, butterscotch. A little bit of vanilla, dry fruit, I'd say like a dried orange. Yeah. In the back, you have a little bit of a pepper burn, but actually it's not really a burn, it's more like a cinnamon. Let's uh, say you made a cake and you had too much cinnamon or muffins with too much cinnamon, it happens sometimes. Then at the end, you have a little like a burn, but it's not like a chili burn. It's not a pepper burn, it's like a cinnamon burn. But it goes down like, like magic. It's so, the complexity of it makes it that the first sip you have and the second, like the, the second flavor that comes is completely different. Mm. You can feel the oak in the second sip. It just gets better and better. The more you drink it, the better it tastes after a while. It's a very, very special bottle. Uh, like I said, one of my favorite bottles. Would I drink this every day? Yes. Would I bring this to a poker game? Yes. It's a bit on the expensive side. I think I paid for this close to $80. I think it retails for about 100, but because I'm, I, I buy in cases, so I get a better price. Um, is it an everyday drink? If you have the means for it, yes it is. This is really good. The flavor is coming, you see the smoke is coming now. After I had my two sips and I put it down, the smoke is coming now through my nose, but it's not like, it's not going crazy in your face like that. You don't need to put water in there. It's not strong enough to put water. Some people like to put a little bit of water in it. It's fine, it's great. There's no wrong way to drink whiskey. If you want to put some soda in it, go for it. If you're happy, I'm happy. Uh, it's an 18, so I tend to not add things to it. Usually if I want to add things, maybe a younger whiskey, like a 10 or 12 years or eight years, it's a little bit too strong. I'll add a little bit of water in it to open the whiskey up, to let it breathe a little bit. But this is, this is not the case. This is super sweet. Not sweet as in uh, uh, sugary sweet, but sweet as in easy to drink. It's very comfortable, it's very smooth, it's well-rounded, it's good body. Also has pretty darn good legs. It's nothing dry in here. I think this whiskey has its place anywhere in the world at any time. Uh, Maybe not a breakfast whiskey, but then again, if you had a lot last night, maybe it's a good breakfast whiskey as, as well. I like the complexity of the smoke in this. It's like I said, it's not smoke in your face. It's, it's a subtle smoke coming in the back there. And it's very, very gentle. This whiskey, you know, if you had a hard day at work, you come home, you have a glass of this, you just sit on your porch and, or your balcony, or just even in your sofa and you just, Phase out for like 10 minutes. You want to do it with this. 
Um, if you're new to whiskeys and you start drinking this before almost anything else, you're gonna have big trouble after that because, well, there are two ways to see this. I say big trouble because this is super high quality. It's really well done. Like Talisker is no joke. Uh, any bottle on my shelf of Talisker, they're all no joke. They're all different, but it's good quality stuff. But my meaning is that your exploration of whiskey, if you get used to this, you're up here and then it will go down here. But down is actually not a bad thing because down is just means different, right? It's depending on the age. You have to respect bottles for what they are, uh, for the age that they have or the cask that they're in. Most important thing for me is casking. Uh, wrong casking, bad casking, short casking, too long casking can change everything in a whiskey. Uh, that's why NAS are very difficult to uh, put your finger on a good one and a bad one because who knows what happened. They don't really tell you. And uh, so if you go to a younger age after this, let's say Talisker 10, which is a fantastic whiskey, well, you're gonna say automatically, well, the 18 is better. Uh, yes, it is, but the 10 is not a bad bottle of whiskey either. It's actually a great bottle of whiskey, but you're, you're, you've been used to something like this, then you, you it's, it's, it's complicated, but at the same time, it's the fun of it, right? You try something, you try something else. And I, I never really say, oh, I don't like this. I say, this is different. Uh, or maybe I wasn't ready for a taste of this, or maybe my mind was not in the right space for a taste of that. Uh, I've got a bottle of a Glen Fartless here. It's eight years. Then you're gonna say, well, this is terrible. It's eight years. Yes, it's terrible. But at the same time, it's very interesting because if you drink some of the eight years, then you move on to the 15, 18, 21, 25. You understand where your whiskey is coming from, which, which makes it interesting. Like the eight, I probably never drink like a glass of eight, uh, probably use it in a mixer or something like that. But it, it's the journey that's interesting. It's not the, oh, I got the best bottle in the world because the best bottle in the world for you is not the same best bottle in the world for me. If somebody asked me to do my top five whiskeys. It's very subjective because it's my top five. It's not, your top five or maybe you don't even know and plus my top five changes all the time for a long time this uh, old particular uh Kregalaki 13 was my best bottle and now it's maybe out of my top five and maybe next year i'll come back in my top five who knows it's so nice to smell by the way in whiskey tasting they call this on the nose the nose on the nose is very fragrant it's just what you want you know don't make a big fuss about whiskey if you like it even if you don't like it here's a recommendation if you have a whiskey that you don't like go again go again the next day go again the next week and at one point you'll find something go like oh i'm starting to get this i'm starting to understand this but this is not a lot of understanding to do because it's almost a perfect bottle um I had some 30 years, I had some, I think it was 40, 45, or something like that, 40, 45. And uh, it's a step up, but this from the 10 is already a huge step up. If you go like the 30, we're talking about $400, $500 bottle. So this is a good choice. Hey, by the way, if you really like somebody, it's his birthday or something like that, uh, take the $100 and buy them this bottle. You can't go wrong. I think it's a perfect bottle, bachelor party your best friend buy this bottle. Uh, I would not recommend drinking this in a big group because it's gonna go down fast because it's really good. So I would keep it with like close friends or like I said, at a poker game with a cigar, um, fantastic. So anyway, that's that for that. Uh, you know me, if you see a bottle on the shelf you don't know about and you wanna know about, just leave me a comment, I'll take it down. I'll make a review just for you. Uh, otherwise, if you have any questions or suggestions, uh, just post down here and uh, I'll take care of it when I have time. See you later.